Surfing is all about riding the wave. And when there is so much, riding on doing it well, the best in the world know exactly what to do. There's definitely a lot of nerves, but she got myself mentally in a good space. And just every moment and, you know, every wave that came through, I just felt very, you know, alert and in tune with the ocean. And luckily that first heat, it just kind of came together for me. You got something to give you. And a dream came true. Early Monday, Sonoa Dempley Olin made history, becoming the first Canadian surfer to ever qualify for the Olympic Games. I kind of just had a moment and got kind of overwhelmed with emotions and just filled with happiness because, you know, something that I dreamed of my whole life was official and had just, you know, become true. So. The 18-year-old from Tofino was in Chile competing in the Pan American Games Women's Shortboard Final where despite the difficult conditions, she managed to catch two waves in the 20-minute heat. And then you're scored based on the turns you do on the wave, the speed you have on the wave, how you flow all your moves together. Her sister, a fellow surfer, and family back home cheering her on every step of the way towards her silver medal finish. I think she was just really in the moment and trying to take it all in and just enjoy it because she definitely earned it. Noah, how are you feeling? I feel amazing. I'm so happy right now. The feeling back home in Tofino is mutual. Being a first, it's huge. It's um, like one of those things It's almost hard to believe in when it's happening. You know, we're a small town surfing for about 40 years here in Tofino. And here we are, you know, here she is at the Olympics. It's, it's just absolutely fantastic. Now, with a ticket in hand, the countdown to Paris 2024 is on. The dream of so many Canadian surfers, now finally a reality, for one. The fact that I'm going to be able to call myself an Olympian is super special. For the Canadian surfing community, I think this moment is very huge. Kylie Stanton, Global News.